Hey guys, some of you were asking to see the picture. This is the picture I took yesterday morning of the sunrise. Good morning, um, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, this is day 19 of MOVE and it's Sunday. Um, and yesterday at the end of the class, I did say that we would do killer abs. <laughs> and then I woke up this morning going, killer abs? Why did I say killer abs? So we'll do abs of steel. <laughs> um, and I will give progressions, you know, you know, start here or you know, here, or, you know. And so stop or take a rest or continue going or bend your knees or do whatever you need to do. Um, at some stage, I am going to have a block. Um, so if you have a book, a block, even, it doesn't matter, something to put between your hands and your knees when we're pushing at some stage, okay? Um, so come lie on your back. Come, come. Have I done everything? Yes, lovely, great, come. So lying on your back, your knees are bent. Your feet are flat on the floor. And just start by dropping your knees from side to side. So as you rock your knees from side to side, just get a feeling of the landscape of your torso, the sense of your hips, your knees, your lower back, your buttocks. Nice. And now squeeze the right knee up towards your chest. And when you squeeze it in, pull it and then pull it again. A little bit harder. Nice other side and draw the left knee up towards you pull it gently in the beginning pause you find stillness and then you pull it a bit harder so it's like a pull and then a pull <laughs> pull your left right knee towards you and then a deeper squeeze nice change pull your left knee towards you and then a deeper squeeze nice one more time each side pull your right knee towards you and then deeper and then pull your left knee towards you and then deeper so the same kind of idea but we're going to do that in stretching so lengthen your right leg long so that it's not super straight but you just pause and then you super stretch down into your right leg and then bend your knee so lengthen your left leg long and then push down into that leg and lengthen and then bend your knee. So it's like we we go a little bit, pause, and then we go whoosh down into the leg strongly. Bend your knee. Down into the left leg, and then whoosh super strong into the left leg, and then bend your knee. So we're gonna combine those two movements together. So draw your right knee towards you, pause, a little bit of a pull, stretch the left leg long, a little bit of a stretch as such, and then you pull harder and then stretch your, long, your leg longer. Nice, and then change. Pull your left knee gently towards you, stretch your right leg gently out, and then pull harder and push harder with your leg. So you have this moment change to the right where you're pausing and then whoosh strong. Pausing and then whoosh strong. And just do that a few times. Whoosh. Pausing, whoosh. You can do this with a straight leg. Pausing, pull, pausing, pull. Either knee bent or leg straight. Pausing, whoosh. One more time. Pausing, whoosh. Nice. Bend both knees towards you. Squeeze them both in. And then just uh, make a circle with your knees in the air. Circling. Well, and circle in the other direction. Cool. So bring both feet to the floor. Reach your right arm along, along of the floor. And then roll over onto your right side. And if you can, keep your feet off the floor. And I'm stopping the movement with my left hand. And then come back to center. Knees are up towards you and then roll over towards the left side. I stop the movement with my right hand and I keep my knees and my feet in the air a little bit and then come back to land on the floor. Reach the right arm long, roll over onto the right side. I stop the movement with my left hand. My knees and feet are in the air. Come back 
and then over towards the left side. Knees and feet are in the air. I'm stopping the movement with my right hand and my left arm is long. And just roll from side to side. Go slowly, listen. One more time each side. Super cool, both feet to the floor and rock your knees from side to side. So as you drop your knees from one side to the other side, just listen in, feel what's happening. Nice, so grab that block or that book or that object, nothing sharp, <laughs> nothing breakable. Um, and then bring your book to your knees and push your hands into your knees. If you have nothing, you can just push on your knees. So you don't need to have something. Uh, if you're watching this afterwards, you can just pause the video and run and get something. If you're doing it live, sometimes you can just do it as it is. Okay. So hands to your knees and you're pushing your book or you're pushing your hands into your knees and your knees into your hands. And you're just pushing your shoulders down and away from your ears and you're trying to push your knees as far away from you as you can. And now try and pull your knees as close to you as you can. Knees as far away as you can, knees towards you. And you're really holding that sense of, there's a, a contact or a control that you need to have to maintain your book where it is, or your block. I just feel that. Knees squeeze towards you. And bum lifts a little bit in the air. Knees push away. One more time. Knees squeeze towards you. Knees push away. And then pause with your arms long, your shoulders away from your ears. Draw your navel a little bit back towards your spine. And then stretch the left side long. Come back up to center. Stabilize. Stretch the right side long. Stabilize, left side long, back up to center, and then right side long. Continue for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Right side long. You can also keep your right knee bent and you can just take your hand off your knee and you can just do it a mini version of it, which will also engage, engage your abdominal muscles, or you can lengthen long. One more time each side. Nice, bring both feet to the floor, get rid of your block, and then push your feet down and roll up along your spine. And then roll down. Feet are hip distance apart, you're, just feeling that sense of strong legs and length through the deep abdomen. Mm, knees are moving slightly towards each other. Nice. So if you did have a block or a book or something, put it between your thighs and squeeze it and bring your feet a bit closer together and then do the same movement squeezing harder at the top. If you don't have a block or a book, you can just squeeze your knees together and rise up and down. The sky is really clear this morning. It's beautiful. You know, squeezing up and down, feeling the squeeze in of your knees and then the squeeze up of your hips. One more time. Nice. Lift your feet off the floor and keep your knees so that they're directly over your hips. Push your elbows into the floor, squeeze your knees together, and then begin to rock from side to side. This is one of those movements for me that I don't have much range in this movement. I can go maybe maximum to a, uh, just less than a 45 degree angle, a little bit off center. And I never force it. You know, the there's loads of reasons why I should be able to do this movement. There's loads of reasons why I should push 
not really. I don't see why I should do that. And so for me, it's just something that my body goes, no, 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 I don't do that. <laughs> and so I really listen to that. Um, so at different stages, in every like different directions, we all have capacity or there's something going on that we have to listen to. And for me, this is a range that I have to be really careful of in my body. Nice. Get rid of your block and then just stretch your legs up long and do the same movement. Sway your legs from side to side. So rather than it be about massive flexibility, be it, let it be about the abdominal tone. So there's a point kind of 45 degree angle, you kind of pause and then come back and then pause and then come back and pause and then come back. Nice, both feet to the floor, pause there. Hands on your belly. Nice. So like the movement we did earlier, reach your right arm overhead, roll over onto your right side, keep your feet and your knees off the floor, or you can begin to straighten your legs. Nice, roll onto your back, knees are bent, and then roll over onto the left side, legs straighten perhaps, perhaps not, all the way back. So you can start doing this without your hand stopping you in the front, so your arms are overhead. You're stopping with your torso, or not, <laughs> as the case may be. So just roll from side to side, onto one side, back onto your back, <laughs> other side, onto your back. <laughs> nice, roll onto your back. And just draw, sir, uh, draw smiley knees. So smiley knees are where your knees drop towards your right shoulder and the knees drop towards your left shoulder. And I pass through the mid of my belly on the swing out. So up towards your right shoulder, up towards your left shoulder, hmm, right shoulder, and left shoulder. Nice. And bring both feet to the floor, stretch your right leg straight up towards the ceiling, and then lift high. Lower your bum down. Keep your right leg lengthening. High. And the energy is that you're going to try and touch the ceiling with your toes. So your right leg is getting really strong and pointy up towards the ceiling. Rise. Rise. One more time. And rise. Pause there. Super long and strong through the right leg. Steady and powerful down into the left leg. My shoulders, keep them steady. I'm pushing my elbows down. My neck is comfortable. Nice, lower your bum to the floor. Other side, stretch the left leg up, point into your toes. Try and touch the ceiling with your toes. So it gets super strong and long into that left leg. Up. 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 One more time, up and pause. Super long into that left leg. I'm really feeling the energy down into the toes as I try and reach towards the ceiling. And lower your bum to the floor. Bring your arms out wide into a T. Drop your knees down towards the left. And then glide your right foot to foot, right foot to knee, and then right knee up in the direction of your left shoulder. All the way back, both knees to the right. Glide the left knee up towards the right shoulder. And coming back. That's just gliding one way. I'm listening to your chest, listening to your arms, listening to your spine, and gliding the other way. Nice. One way. And the other way. Nice. Cool. So roll over onto your belly. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Have your toes tucked under. And then I'm going to interlock my hands because it just feels nice to do that. 
and then drop your head down and look towards your chest. And then lift your belly off the floor. Keep your knees on the floor. Drop your belly down. Squeeze to your bum, rise to your spine. Look way down the beach. And then tuck your chin under, lift your belly off the floor. You can, if you want, lift your knees off the floor. Drop your knees down, drop your belly, rise and look way down the beach. Tuck your toes under, lift your belly, maybe lift your knees. And drop your knees, drop your belly, lift and look down the beach. Nice, last one. Lift your belly, maybe lift your knees. Nice, drop your belly down, look way down the beach. Then bring your right hand a little bit over towards the right, so it's flat, and then look high down towards the right. Drop down, both elbows to the floor. Bring your left hand over a little bit. And look high towards the left. Nice, and all the way down. Push back into your cat pose. All the way back, rounding your back. Arching your back, rounding your back, arching your back. Nice, one more time, rounding your back, arching. Push back into your downward dog. Mm, finding length back through your legs, bending one knee, mm, bending the other knee, bending both, lengthening both. Nice, come sit on the mat. Legs are long in front of you. Nice, just roll your shoulders, big circle. And then in the other direction. Nice. Hmm. So, come into a cross-legged position, or you can leave your legs out long in front of you. And then reach your right hand up towards the ceiling and lean over towards the left with your right hand. Come back up and then over to the other side. Reach the left hand up and lean over towards the right. Back to center. Nice. Change the cross of your legs. Lean up, uh, reach up with the right hand over towards the left. Nice. Hmm. Up with the left hand over towards the right. Nice. Change the cross of your legs. Nice. Twisting towards the right. Hold on to the right knee. Twist towards the right. And then twist towards the left. Nice. Stretch your legs out long. Let's come into a forward fold. So if you find that when you forward fold that you're, you're very far back from your legs, then bend your knees and just wrap yourself over your legs. If this is first thing in the morning when you're doing this, then bend your knees. And you just listen. And drop your head. Nice, cool. Sitting up tall. Oh, just create length through the spine. Feel your sit bones on the floor. Turn your eyes towards the right. Just your eyes. And just feel into the right side of your body. Nice, turn your eyes to the left. 
Maybe there's a yawn or a sigh or a deeper breath. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your eyebrows. Smile, maybe. Nice. How cool, guys. Super. So lie on the floor. It's Sunday morning. Rest yourselves. And I will wander off into my day. Um, so nice. Lovely, guys. Uh, very nice to hang out with you this morning. And um, yeah, have a lovely day. Um, I'm planning on going for a swim. I was thinking about even turning on the sauna. <gasps> you also built a sauna, and um, I think I, I think I might turn on the sauna. Um, so I hope you have a great day, and um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, and I'll see you all tomorrow for day twenty of Move. Ciao. Um, so yeah, so contribution towards the 21 days of October is 10 euros. Some people do pay like a euro per class. Um, some people pay more. Um, it's always really, that's always, I really appreciate that people find value and merit in what we're doing and yeah, that's nice. Um, so thanks Sinead, you're awesome. Um, it's such a pleasure working with you. And um, thanks to all of you for turning up. Um, I love my tribe. And um, yeah, if you're in the neighborhood, call by. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's so sweet. Um, so great. I will see you all tomorrow. And um, yeah, just be well and um, do things that resource you today, things that bring you joy. Slon, slon. Bye for now. <laughs>